In FeatureCam 2014, more accurate simulation is now possible with the ability to specify custom tool holders from solid models for milling. Solid turning tool holders have been possible for quite some time now, and this now adds the same functionality to the milling environment. In this example, we're going to use a Sandvik Korochok 930 type holder, though of course other manufacturers are available. Now there are several ways that we can uh, grab the holder. First one is if we go to the part view, you'll notice that there is a, a holder solid already in there, which is placed on this level. So I can turn that level on, and you can see the holder just some, sat somewhere in the, uh, the CAD environment. Likewise, if we go back to the browser, there is a folder link here. If I open that folder, you'll notice I can see which uh, inside the, the projects folder, you can see I've got a parasolid example which we've converted for you. Alternatively, and this is the method I'm going to use, is I'm going to go through the Sandvik website. Click on the Sandvik icon, and that loads the search website, which allows me to, in this case, you can see we specified the filter for the Corachuk 930, and you can see I've got a series of different holders to choose from. In this case, I'm going to look for the 20mm with a 97mm length. Click on the link. This opens the next page, which allows us to download either the CAD drawing, or in this case, we're going to uh, collect the 3D model. I'm going to select, accept, and under my save as, I'm going to save into my C drive in a folder called Holders, and just overwrite the one I've got there. I can now open the folder, and you'll see I've got a step file in there, like so. You can take this and drag and drop this straight into the FeatureCam interface. I'm going to import into the interface. Of course, you'll need the ability to convert step files to in order to do this. So I'm going to cancel the wizard. So I've now imported, but I've imported into my default part layer. Let's create a new layer. I'm going to call this one Korachuk 930 and say OK. I can then take this solid I'm going to drag and drop onto my new layer and hide the part layer for the time being. Likewise, I'm going to take the same name, so I'm going to rename, I'm going to copy that name and I'm going to paste that name so I rename my solid. So whenever we're creating any kind of solid holders we need the uh, the face, the mounting face of where the tool will sit uh, to be at our zero point. If I go ahead and turn on my stock axis at the moment you can see the zero point is sat somewhere inside the body of the tool. What I need to do is I need to move this up. Now I know this is a 97mm length, but let's just double check. It's going to measure a vertical distance, and I want to go from the zero point. Let's use our snap mode. And go from the zero point down to the bottom face. And sure enough, we can see it's 97mm. So what I want to do is I want to transform this solid. So I'm going to take the, the solid itself. And I'm going to move its position. And do a translation, 97 millimeters, and say OK. I've now transformed its location, like so. Next, what we want to do is we want to specify this holder, or this solid, as being a holder itself. So if I go to my manufacturing spindles and tool holders, and in this case I want to create a new holder. I've already pre-created a spindle, which is a cap-toe spindle, to take this cap-toe mounting. Let's create a new holder. So create a new holder. In this case I'm going to call this one. I'm going to paste that same name, which is the Korachuk 930. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, specify some parametric information regarding the size of this. I'm going to set this to be millimetres. And I'm going to set the value. So I'm going to set 20 millimeters. I'm going to set step diameter as 30. I'm going to set my length to be 97. Diameter 50. And tip length 97. 
So I can quite easily create a parametric based model based on this, this particular holder geometry. I can say OK and I get my new holder and I get a display like so. Let's go back and edit that. I can also use a curve to describe the holder shape. And in this case you can see we've already got a curve called Curve Holder. This represents a revolved profile of this particular tool, but you can see some of the detail is missing from the shape of the holder. And that's just simply because the curve is revolved. In this case, I want, I want to use as the solid itself. So let's go to the final option, the new option, which is to use a solid to describe the holder shape. I can go ahead and select the holder, in this case the Corochuk 930. And you can see that appears in the display window. I can say OK and that now appears inside the display window mounted into the spindle. I now have this holder that I can utilize for my simulation. So let's go to one of our features. For the time being I'm going to turn on my part and turn off that holder and we can turn off the stock axis and display everything else. Next thing I want to do is to go to the pocket. I'm going to go to the roughing operation, and in this case, you can see we've got our tool there. Maybe we want to make a copy of this, so I'm going to create a copy of this tool. I'm going to call this end mill. Same number, but let's give it a name. Let's call this capto, like so. Under the holder setting, I'm going to go and choose my new Korochuk 930. Say apply. And OK. It's asked me do I want to set the new tool as override. I'm going to say yes. And you should notice that we've now got that holder displayed in the screen like so. The same tool has been used for the finishing operation. Final thing to do is to do a 3D simulation. So I'm going to go ahead, do a 3D simulation, single step. You can see my default face mill. And now you can see my holder which has all the detail that we saw in the original solid model.